Hi guys, Sigash is here and today is the first day of the meditation course. For 10 days I isolated myself. I didn't talk to anybody and 10 hours a day during 10 days I was meditating. I've been doing it uh, such retreats since 2012 for 12 years. Every year I'm trying to go one of the retreats vipassana meditation retreats and in this video i'm gonna tell you why i'm doing this and how you can sign up for one of these retreats and what you can expect from them i started to do vipassana meditation in 2012 when i have a big depression in my life uh, i had everything i had uh, a flat in central london my walk was only two minutes walk from my house I was having a good salary, I was partying every weekend, almost every weekend. I had everything I wanted to, but every single day, almost every single day when I was waking up, I was feeling miserable and I was feeling unhappy. Whatever, however I tried to please myself, I wasn't fulfilled and in the mornings i had the feelings of emptiness it was very sad my relationship with workmates was very tense i was unhappy at work even so my colleagues are pretty cool people but something was going wrong and i understood that i need to change it because i was thinking i'm going mad i'm going insane so i started to kind of google and do some research I didn't know what is meditation and then I hear somewhere about silent retreat, I googled it, I found Vipassana, I went to Sri Lanka to one of the retreats, very chilled and flexible, you can come for how many days you want to, I plan to go for seven days but on the day number two I decided to leave because it was like too boring for me, too overwhelming. The teacher asked me to stay one day longer, I stayed, but then I ran away because it was like Sri Lanka, beaches, waterfall, it was all in my head and I was thinking that it would be so cool to see that destination instead of being in the meditation center. So I escaped, I ran away, but even so I saw the beaches, I saw the waterfall, I swam in the ocean. For the rest of the holiday I was thinking that these three days in the meditation were the most happiest the happiest days out of the entire holiday when, so when i got back to london i found meditation courses run by guenka guenka is the name of the teacher and there are centers around the world including england there are three or two centers in england and i signed up for one of the course 10 day course I attended and it was life changing for me. It's like I was started to see the light in the end of the tunnel. I seen then I kind of started to transform myself to a better being. I would say I became more harmonious, more balanced. I got rid of some impurities after the course, like I was uh, struggling with OCD obsessive compulsive disorder when I had to check almost every single time if I closed the door when I left the flat so I could even leave the flat close the door go to the ground floor and then oh did I close it I need to come back and check so I was coming back and checking it obviously it was closed but it was like obsessive after the meditation course it's weakened it's disappeared another obsessiveness was like i had to put everything in the perfect order in my desk like 90 degrees the pen is 90 degrees so everything needed to be in the perfect order after the course i became more relaxed if it's a little bit of a mess i'm fine if it's like i mean it's generally very good for me i i, I became more creative more determined it was a mind-changing experience and since then I decided to go for these courses every year and 
I am trying to meditate every day. Here and there I miss my meditation sometimes, but especially after the course, when I am fresh like now, I'm in Cambodia and just completed the course in Cambodia, Vipassana meditation in Cambodia, I feel determined again to start doing meditation every single day, twice a day in the morning and in the evening. So, what is Vipassana? Vipassana is the meditation. Meditation antique, uh, meditation which was discovered by uh, Gautama, by the Buddha, when the Siddhartha Gautama discovered this technique, he became Buddha. Buddha is not the God, Buddha is, is, Buddha is just a person that got enlightened, uh, that found a way to liberation. There were meditation before Buddha, after Buddha, there are meditation now, contemporary to Buddha, but this particular technique of self-observation is what you learn on the Vipassana meditation courses. There are not uh, religious objects to focus on, there are not external objects to focus on, not visualization, mantras, there is uh, pure self-observation which is very universal, very uh, natural. Breath and the body sensation, those two things are always with us. Vipassana course consists of uh, three parts. In the first uh, part, you and every student must undertake five precepts to live uh, the moral life, very strict precepts not to kill, not to steal, not take any intoxicants, not to have any sexual misconduct, not tell any lies. Seems to be simple and understandable by everybody. Precept that everybody needs to live, but we are all humans and here and there we can sometimes break one or two or some precepts. Like, but during the course you take uh, noble silence, you're not allowed to talk, because if a student talk, he can break one of the precepts and his shila, morality, is broken. And the morality is the main factor to, to be able to purify the mind. The next step after the morality is the mastery of the mind, or in the antique language it calls samadhi. For first three days of the course, uh, students are focusing the mind on the breath. They make the mind very sharp, very sensitive and clear. So they have started to manage their own mind. They become the mastery of their own mind by diverting attention from the thoughts that may appear to the breath. Breath and nothing, only breath. Once the mind become sharp on the day number three or four, people starting to feel sensations on the body. It can be a very gross sensation from sitting long hours, like uh, discomfort in the leg or in the back or somewhere else. Or it can be very subtle sensations, like electromagnetic waves on the body, very pleasing sensation. During the course, uh, the teacher teach you not to react to these sensations. Every day there are clear instructions what to do. Every day there are theory part, what students should have experienced throughout the day and what they should expect tomorrow. There is nothing uh, religious, nothing sectarian. There are people all from all traditions, all religions are attending to the attending the course, so it's suitable for everybody. They are not converting anyone to become a Buddhist, even so the Buddha has uh, found this technique. It's very scientific in a way, because the person only focusing attention on himself and he only observing himself or herself. What I like especially about these courses is that they are not commercialized. They run completely on donation basis. Teacher don't get any salary, he is volunteer. All the cleaners, chefs, 
and people who are managing the course they all volunteer they not get any money from this charity people are coming there and giving the donation because they experience the benefits of this meditation and they want to give it back and it's completely free of charge everything is free of charge including the technique itself the teaching itself of course but also no money is taken for food expenses no money is taken for lodging it's run only on donation basis and because these uh, meditation centers are around the world and they are able to sustain themselves so people are coming there they are returning there and they want to help other new students who never done meditation so they volunteer and they uh, support centers by some money donations and that's how the centers are survived so no money is taken from new students who never completed at least one day only the donations are taken from those people who completed at least one 10 day course of vipassana meditation and from those people who experience benefits the meditation starts at 4 4 30 a.m and it finishes at 9 9 30 p.m it's about 10 hours of meditation every day of course with the breaks uh, between meditation sessions uh, with breaks for lunch for dinner for breakfast with the small meditation breaks like in between these sessions five ten minutes to chill to go for a walk usually centers are in the rural areas i attended centers in different parts of the world and in the uk in belarus in indonesia in sri lanka now i'm in cambodia but everywhere is the same schedule and uh, usually centers are located in rural areas and it's like to be in paradise especially in cambodia my last uh, center when i was just uh, there uh, meditating i could hear the things of the birds it was so beautiful and the main benefit of this meditation is mind purification so people throughout these uh, 10 days they coming through own in impurities they eradicating them impurities themselves without any help from outside from psychiatrist or whoever it can be friends all wisdom all insights are happening within myself during the meditation and this is great this is the purest form of insight during the meditation i'm learning to be balanced equanimous aware and to be to live a happy life you know i had so much inspiration throughout the course i'm very fresh and i want to create i want to explore the world and i see the world in uh, i don't know it's like i see the world in new colors i see the world in very fresh uh, shades and this is great i feel happier and i'm glad that i did another 10 day vipassana course in my life because it gives great results and it uh, changed my life to better even so the schedule is so strict meditating 10 hours a day i've had so much energy first three days i was sleeping like like uh, a lot but on the day four day five because uh, my mind is so calm so my sleep is very um not very deep it's very how can i say shallow it's very vivid i can see lucid dreaming and i could sleep five hours a day and when i wake up i'm full of energy this is great because usually i need to sleep like six, seven eight hours to function but on the meditation course was five hours was completely enough for me to sleep locations of the centers are around the world uh, let's go on the website and see where you can book one of these retreats yourself if you wish to where you can find more information about the centers
dhamma.org. This is the official website that gives you all information about Vipassana meditation. On the first page you can see the general information about what is Vipassana is. You can see information about uh, questions and answers. You can see the courses. You can find location of the courses. Let's go and see the locations of the courses worldwide directory or the map. If you open the page of maps, you will find that uh, locations are around the world. There are many locations are uh, in Asia, especially in India, in Thailand, in uh, um, Myanmar. But there are also locations in Europe, if you would like, including Italy, few centers in France, three centers in the United Kingdom, Lithuania, Poland, Hungary, almost everywhere, Spain, and of course also in Americas, in South and in North America. The courses are everywhere. There you can search uh, on the website, you can search for the next available course. For, so for example, I want to find the course which will be in January, February 2023. And first I should choose the dates. After that, I can type where I would like to attend my course. So for example, I'm looking for courses in Thailand, in Cambodia and in Malaysia. I speak English. I put the English language into the filter and I found searches. After some time, the search result will show you all information about the courses. So you can see that some courses are for Thai speakers only that are located in Thailand. But for example, um, you can find that there are also center in Malaysia. I've been in Malaysian center and the course is in English and Mandarin. You can apply for the meditation course and it will give you the full information what you should expect, what you should bring, what you should not bring during the course. All the activities like listening to music, reading, writing are prohibited and you guys should follow the uh, discipline that suggested on the course. It is very important because this course for me is about self-discipline. I train my mind to listen to myself. I train my body to listen to myself and to be, to develop self-discipline is very important. That's why I obey all the rules and regulations and timetable. In the beginning of the course, I deposit my phone so I don't have any temptation to check it. I deposit my books, my uh, notebook, journal, laptop. Uh, the organizers keep it in the safe, in the secure place and they give it back by the end of the course and it feels so great to get disconnected from the internet for 10 days it feels so nice to get connected to myself throughout the course sometimes you know i was remembering myself like being a kid when i didn't have a phone or anything i was just staring there at the window and looking for the flies or for the ants playing with each other and doing some job and the same like now uh, when I'm almost 40, I'm still at this meditation center. I was like so curious to see how ants are scrolling on the trees or like how butterflies are flying. It's so magical to connect to the real world and to connect to my feelings, to connect to myself. It's a great benefit that uh, Vipassana meditation gives me. Uh, first of all, this is uh, mind purification. I come out of many complexes in my mind. I come out of many impurities in my mind. And of course, there are sub products. I became more self disciplined. I became more creative. I became more determined. I became more kind, more active. I mean, it's great. It's such a great course, guys. I recommend you to go with to attend. So, here you can apply for one of the courses. The first uh, questions on the website they ask you if you completed one of the courses or not let's say no then they ask you for mail 
information about privacy you read it and press the next button to see what opens up there and this is a very important information because it gives you everything you need to know about introduction to the introduction to the technique it's not a right or ritual ba based on blind faith it's neither an intellectual nor philosophical entertainment it's not a rest cure holiday or an opportunity for socializing it's not escape for trials and tribulations of everyday life but vipassana is a technique that will eradicate suffering it's a method of mental purification which allows one to face life's tensions and problems in a calm balanced way it's an art of living that one can use to make positive contributions to this society then there is more information if you guys decide to go or out of curiosity go and check all this information on the website it it gives everything you need to know and i totally guys recommend you to come and visit vipassana meditation courses it comes from my own experience i've been doing it for many years since 2012 trying to go for at least one 10 day course a year because it's so beneficial to me when I have an opportunity sometimes I go twice a year when I have uh, time and when I'm fortunate to have this opportunity but to try at least once in a life you should do because you guys will experience such a great benefits to your life and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I left the uh, information about uh, the Vipassana meditation technique in the description to this video including the website where you can find everything you need to know if you have any questions about this technique please comment and I will get back to you I will try to give you all the detailed information and answer your questions thank you so much for watching I hope you will benefit from Vipassana meditation and I will see you in the next video. Bye.